Welcome back, man. Thank you. Yeah! Woo! What was the scene like for you that day? It was the best day of my life. And it was a day this past winter that brought a rare gathering. Members of both sides of a rancorous government lining the front of the Capitol, led by Democratic Vice President Joe Biden. They were all there to support the junior senator from Illinois, Republican Mark Kirk, as he prepared to perform what for him would be an arduous task. His goal? To climb all 45 steps so he could return to work after a year's absence. It was a remarkable comeback. In late January 2012, about a year after he was sworn in, Mark Kirk had found himself in an ambulance, suffering a stroke, which basically meant the blood supply to his brain was being cut off. I reached out to the, uh, the ambulance tech, and I remember staring at her blue hand. She had a glove on, just because I wanted to hold someone's hand until I died. But Kirk, just 52 at the time, was saved. Senator Kirk was having swelling of his brain last night. Because doctors at Chicago's Northwestern Memorial Hospital realized his brain was starting to swell. So we took him to surgery last night and removed a part of his skull so that there would be room for the brain to swell without causing any further damage. Neurological surgeon Richard Fessler, who led Kirk's medical team, says delaying the procedure might have been disastrous. He could have died, and probably worse than that is he could have been vegetative, meaning that he's not dead, but he has no reasonable brain function. But Kirk was really lucky. Pretty, uh, and because the stroke was on the right side of his brain, Unless it didn't damage his cognitive Jason ability as much as his motor skills. What's your name? Jason. Jason Mark Kirk. Nice to Jason. meet you. However, the cadence of his speech was affected, and the whole left side of his body is impaired. After three weeks in the hospital, he was transferred to the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, where he spent some 10 months in in- and outpatient therapy, including time in a special program in which younger, stronger patients are pushed to take three to four thousand steps an hour in comparison to three to four hundred steps in standard physical therapy. When he was brought in here, he had not walked since the stroke, correct? Correct. Mike Klonowski was Kirk's lead therapist. What we saw was a very driven young smart guy who comes in here ready to get back to doing what he does so well. The uh, stroke affected my uh, left leg and uh, he said it's gonna come back it's gonna bear weight and I'm like you don't know this leg <laughs> you don't know how useless he is and it has come back. Let's join together to move the country back to right of center. The senator who is divorced, was a five-term member of the House before being elected to the Senate in 2010 to fill the seat that Barack Obama gave up to become president. I have been carefully watching his voting records since he came back. Kirk has a reputation for bipartisanship, often teaming with his Illinois Democratic colleague, Dick Durbin. He is also one of the few pro-choice, pro-gun control, and pro-gay marriage Republicans in the Senate. But he counts himself a fiscal conservative. And although he says he feels for Americans who don't have the same good health care benefits that he receives, he voted against the president's universal health coverage plan. Has this made you change your view on that? It hasn't. What I worried about that was, we all know the federal government's out of money, that if you make that promise, that people will believe you and you gotta come through. Don't make promises that you can't afford to keep. Furthermore, while under Senate rules, Kirk was paid during a year of absence, but he says he still does not support extending unemployment benefits for out-of-work Americans. 
even your own experience has not changed that for you. It hasn't. Uh, still very much a fiscal conservative. And someone who drives himself hard enough to climb to the top of those 45 steps to the Capitol door. Guys, hey guys. But everyday life is a challenge. He still tires easily and must use a wheelchair to travel the long distances around the Capitol. But Kirk says he has had to find a silver lining. He says he wants people to see his disabilities because he believes that he can be an inspiration, making others understand just how much people like him still have to offer. Look for the twinkle in the eye. It's going to be there. And uh, when you connect with it, you will find that spark in the, inside the person. And you will recover that person. You'll bring them all back. And they will love you for it.